It is important to note that two people capable of holding and maneuvering approximately 100 pounds are required to mount the front panel to the mechanism. It is extremely important that the bolt in hole number two is used when attaching the mechanism to the frame. To start, from bag number five, place a 5 16 nylock nut and a 5 16 by 3 quarter hex head machine bolt onto the floor beside the base of each side panel. Also have ready a half inch wrench and a half inch socket wrench. To start, from the foot end of the bed, you and your assistant will lift the panel up off the ground. Bring it close to the cabinet, aligning it between the tension arms. Now lift the unit vertically to a height where the bolts in hole number three are a couple of inches above the top of the tension arm. Gently lower the panel so that the bolts in hole number three slide into the slots on the two tension arms, but you also want to approach it on a bit of an angle so that the bottom or the head end of the unit clears the front kick. Be sure that the hole number one's Allen head bolt is fully cradled in the notch at the bottom of the mechanism arm. Once both sides are properly attached, slowly tilt the bed panel down to an approximate 45 degree angle or until you hear the click from the arm lock disengaging. Now with your assistant holding the bed roughly at this angle, you'll install and hand tighten the bolt and nylock nut to hole number two, indicated by the yellow sticker with the red arrow. Repeat these steps for hole number two on the opposite side. Continue to hold the panel at this angle and securely tighten bolt number three on either side with the wrenches. Now tighten the bolts in hole number two on either side. The last step is to pull the Velcro strap apart to let the two ends hang off the sides of the bed so that when the bed is closed, you can pull on them to open the bed. Holding your Velcro straps, gently let the bed close. If all is well, you should have even clearance between the side edges of the front panel unit and the insides of the side gable panels. If the cabinet is not perfectly square and the bed panel unit binds, try nudging the bed cabinet at the base. 